Good afternoon. I was just reviewing the list of questions that are on the Ask the Ask Expert section of this website and saw this one that asks, when dissecting a DNS packet, what is the response code value in decimal for a for response code? Now, what I noticed is that there's no um, value listed for what response code that we're looking for, what response code value might be that you need to convert to decimal. But I like playing with things at the packet level, and I thought I would uh, give it a go and see if I can hopefully answer your question. But uh, because there are no specific values, my answer will be somewhat generic in nature, but I think it will help you to be able to figure out how to do this on your own. First thing to realize is that the response code that is sent back in a DNS query is uh, just four bytes or four bits actually out of the two byte header that is uh, was sent back. Those four, that entire header can be deciphered by looking at RFC 1035. But those four bits in particular that I think you may be looking for for the response code uh, can be looked at on, in page 27 of RFC uh, 1035. This RFC again defines the entire um, DNS response and how DNS works. But in particular on page 27, it shows us what the response code values are. Now remember, this is a four bit field. And so it could contain values from zero through 15, 16 potential values. But only six of them, values zero through five, are actually used by DNS. Values six through 15 are reserved for future use. That makes it really easy to convert uh, from hexadecimal to binary because the numbers are the same. If it comes back with a response code of zero in hex, it's going to be a response code of zero in decimal. Or five in hex will be five in decimal. But to take a, a look a little bit deeper at these particular uh, values, let's take a look at a Wireshark capture. Now this particular capture, what I did uh, to be able to do the capture was I set up a filter to only look at packets to and from uh, Google's DNS at 8.8.8.8. And then I did an S, uh, NNS lookup for www.google.com. When I did, I was able to capture all these packets. I then went down and found this particular packet, which is a standard query response, and then expanded out what the the, uh, the header section of it, the DNS response, and it came up. It shows us that it has a value of eight one eight zero for the DNS response. Now remember, we said it's only the last four bits that correspond to the reply code. In this case, it was a no error reply code, meaning that it found what I was looking up. The other values in that particular flag, value eight, the first eight is the first field. The value one is the next field. And the, the other value eight is the third field. And show how this differs whenever you get a, a negative response. I did another capture and search for a value that I knew didn't exist. And you'll notice that the last four bits changed. It's a binary value of 0, 0, 1, 1, or a hex value 3, which corresponds to a binary value of 3. Now, if you want to uh, convert something a little more complex, like say maybe the entire response code, 8183, the easiest way I found to do that, the quickest way I found to do that, is actually to use uh, Windows Calculator. So let's take a look at how we can use that real quick. And um, no, it looks like I closed it. Nope. Should be there. So I'll just share my entire screen. Share my entire screen. And we will pull up the calculator. So calculator comes up in standard format normally. But you can easily change that to programmer format. And then since I want to convert a hex value of 8183, I click on X, type in 8, 
one eight three and it gives me all the necessary values that are normally needed whenever we're doing any type of networking or programming 8183 corresponds to a decimal value of 33155 I'm not sure when I would ever use that but a binary value as we were looking at those packets uh, like here the ending with 0011 I hope that answers your question and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.